my gosh see sweetheart saints before the main gist i would like to apologize for my absence without proper information i'm so sorry a lot happened but that story for another day so see these two people <laughs> Why is it that Nollywood female celebrities, in fact, Nigerian female celebrities, some of them are fond of recycling guys, men among themselves, but uh, the guys, the reverse is the case. So this young man at my left hand side happens to be Linda Ikeji's um, baby daddy. His name is Jeremy and Linda Ikeji is one of the Nigerian popular blogger at Linda Ikeji blog. The news of Linda Ikeji's pregnancy broke out on internet and the news went viral bloggers started you know doing their findings and trying to dig out the real father of her son who turned out to be jeremy linda ikeji was told she was called all sorts of names for getting pregnant for a married man they back and forth whether to marry linda ikeji or not to get married to Nida Ikeji also hit online and she was still trolled for that. Finally, both of them settled for co-parenting. After two months or thereabouts, she changed her son's surname from Jeremy to her own name. She also debunked the news of her getting pregnant for a married man. If you would like to listen to the full interview she granted with the Vanguard, her journey with the father of her son, how they met and their breakup, watch to the end of this video. So the popular blogger Kutu Juice made a shocking revelation. I don't think Nancy Insime saw this coming because Nancy is among the few celebrities that mind her business. She keeps everything about herself on a lie low. But trust bloggers, they fit the in third generation come aside so they everybody go turn suspect for your eyes anyways this is what popular blogger kutu juice has to reveal about nancy a Sime and linda ikeji's baby daddy <laughs> Yay! um by god's grace jeremy's close circles have hinted that jeremy uh, will soon be asking nancy the million dollar romantic question forget all those taller and cool they were just good for wild party girls, the source said. Nancy is the queen of Jeremy's heart and I was so happy hearing this. Cause we all judged Jeremy based on Linda's one-sided story, um, which clearly Linda was at fault too, but we never had the opportunity to see what kind of man Jeremy truly is. In terms measuring his husband material attributes, so after dating Nancy for this long if he proposes then we can agree him and linda were just fk buddhist and linda fell pregnant because they didn't use protection and linda expected jeremy to marry her based on her big rich girl status but maybe jeremy didn't see linda as his soulmate life isn't that hard you know for most of the this um overly exposed gentlemen so we wish nancy all the best now her own we feel use measure jeremy's niceness and fk up shit and let the owl group say a big amen hmm. um, online in-laws where are you we came late to oh. jeremy and nancy have done introduction no um, it be like online in-laws we need to choose our uh, as a bio very big congratulations to Nancy Isime in advance. So, and please, oh, Jeremy should not use Nancy Isime as his testing ground, oh, testing microphone, testing, testing. This one, the one used his marriage with Nancy Isime that is yet to be official, low oh, to test his niceness. <laughs> hey, wahala be like jingle belly fat. Wahala we are koi He should not try it, oh. Nancy is so many people's sweetheart. Here comes the interview. So Linda said the most hilarious is that I had a child for a married man. Lots of laughter. Here is my answer to that. The married man that I will sleep with has not yet been born. If he's been born, he will buy, be buried, rise and buy again before he will lay with me. I don't do married men. The father of my child is a single man and his name is Sholaye Jeremy. To be honest, at some point, I thought he was, he was my final bus stop. But you know how life happens. Lots of laughter. Unfortunately, he and I are completely closed chapter. Sadly for our son, Jesse is the kind of chapter that can't ever be opened again one of um the thing many people have asked me is how i met this man because we don't run 
in the same circle well i met him three years ago at wheat baker restaurant in Ikoi in december 2015 shortly after i moved to my house in banana island Ikoi, it was a day after christmas and i was having dinner with friends when he walked in he saw me and the rest is history he claimed at the time that he had never heard of me which was seriously a turn on for me because up to then i only be meeting men who behaved like fans at the time we met i was 35 and he was 37 and i'd be single for nearly four years i was definitely searching and i fell in love almost immediately and so we became an item at the time i met him he lived in a three-bedroom flat at what used to be fifth roundabout in lakey after mobile I used to drive for almost two hours in traffic from my house to go see him. Most of the time, I carried my laptop to his home to enable me to work and at the same time, spend the whole day with him. It was a whirlwind romance. He was the funniest and most romantic guy I met up to that point. So it was easy to fall in love and I truly believed the, feelings, uh, the feeling was mutual. A few weeks after we met, it seemed like we were planning a future together. This man was already calling me Linda Ikeji Jeremy and making all these plans. But then, just like that, it was over between us. I went from waking up every morning to love text messages from him to no more calls. I was just thanking God for finally sending me my own man when all of a sudden, we were no longer talking to each other. Later, he would tell me what scared him off my public life. He claims he's a private businessman and didn't want the attention being with me would bring to him. And I told him I understood and we went our separate ways. We tried to get back together in 2016, but it didn't work out so much. So we separated again, but stayed in touch. Mostly him, to be honest stayed friends and that was how our back and forth started by mid 2017 we are both still single and we started seeing each other again quietly there were times it was very intense and we talked about a future together and there were times that i couldn't figure out what exactly i was doing with this guy we were not suited for each other totally different lifestyles and there and there was the problem of my fame I walked away from this man a million times and he came after me a million and one times. No matter how much I pushed, I pushed him away, he kept coming back. And me, because I couldn't find anyone else, I kept going back. Lots of laughter. So I was basically going back to my ex because I couldn't find anyone else. Then I fell pregnant. It wasn't planned. It just happened. Though we talked about having a child together just two months before I fell pregnant. He said something about putting a billionaire baby inside me and I remember jokingly telling him that I'm also a billionaire. So our child was going to be a billionaire on both sides and we laughed. But after I fell pregnant, things became extremely weird between us. If I tried to explain, to explain what happened, I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to because it was confusing to me. We went from talking about the pregnancy and being okay with it. He even suggested I go to Dubai for my prenatal so he didn't trust doctors in Nigeria to literally not talking to each other anymore. Around when I was about three months pregnant, he didn't come to see my parents and actually became very cool with my dad. They were literally exchanging WhatsApp messages every day. He later agreed to a traditional wedding, which he didn't follow through, and then he switched. He began to treat me with so much hate and aggression that I and my family had to cut him off completely. To be honest, if anybody had told me when we met three years ago, considering how deeply we cared for each other, that I would fall pregnant two years later and he would completely turn his back on me for most part of my pregnancy, I never would have believed it. But that's what happened. I had to draw strength from myself, my family and close friends. And Jesse, oh my son, Jesse, he was my biggest strength. It was almost as if he knew his dad was acting up, so he came through for his mom. 
he was gentle with me when i was carrying him i had an extremely easy pregnancy i pushed him out under three minutes and was in the labor room for less than 30 minutes and then my snap back hmm it is well guys with that being said that brings me to the end of this video let me know what you think about this in the comments below um linda ikeji's interview with the vanguard and linda ikeji's baby daddy jeremy getting married to nancy isime what do you think about this whole situation love triangle do you think that this man will marry nancy isime right after listening to this interview from Linda E. K. G. In case you're watching for the first time, this is Loudly Woman on Court. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And please, before you go, do me that favor by giving this video a massive, massive thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. On this channel, we give trending gist, celebrity news, true crime, and true crime stories. Then to my only subscribers, of course, you all know that this video can never be complete without me. I appreciate you guys guys thank you for always watching liking commenting and sharing also give this video a massive massive thumbs up bye bye for now and i'll sign up for my next one peace out i love you all bye